Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Children's Liturgy of the Word. We're so very glad that you've come again this Sunday. We're on the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. As you can see, our table is still covered in green, but we're just beginning the last month of Ordinary Time. Beginning at the end of the month, we will see an important change. So our first reading is from the book of the prophet Malachi. Now this is not a book we hear very often, so let's listen. The Lord says this, although I am the Lord all-powerful, you priests have turned from following me. Your teachings have led many people to do sinful things and you have broken the promise that Levi made to me. So I made everyone hate and despise you because you disobeyed me and did not treat all people alike. Didn't you know that we all have the same Father? Didn't the one God create us all? So why do you cheat each other by breaking the promise that your ancestors made? The word of the Lord and we respond thanks be to God our response song will be teach me your ways O Lord can we say that together teach me your ways O Lord <clears throat> show me your paths and teach me to follow guide me by your truth and instruct me you keep me safe Teach me your ways, O Lord. Please, Lord, remember, you have always been patient and kind. Show how truly kind you are and remember me. Teach me your ways, O Lord. You are honest and merciful, and you teach sinners how to follow your path. You lead humble people to do what is right and to stay on your path. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Our second reading comes from the first letter of Paul to a people who lived in a city called Thessalonica. They were known as Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we could have demanded help from you. After all, Christ is the one who sent us. We chose to be like children or like a mother nursing her baby. We cared so much for you and you became so dear to us that we were willing to give our lives for you when we gave you God's message. My dear friends, you surely haven't forgotten our hard work and hardships. You remember how night and day we struggled to make a living so that we could tell you God's message without being a burden to anyone. We always thank God that you believe the message we preached. It came from him and it is not something made up by humans. You accepted it as God's message and now he is working in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. You have one Father, your Father in heaven. You have one teacher, the Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Our gospel today comes from the gospel of Matthew. May the Lord be on our mind, on our lips, and forever in our hearts. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law are experts in the law of Moses. So obey everything they teach you, but don't do as they say. After all, they say one thing and do something else. They pile heavy burdens on people's shoulders 
but won't lift a finger to help them. Everything they do is just to show off in front of others. They even make a big show of wearing scripture verses on their foreheads and their arms. And they wear big tassels for everyone to see. They love the best seats at banquets and the front seats in the marketplaces. And when they are in the market, they like to have people greet them as their teachers. But none of you should be called a teacher. You have only one teacher, and all of you are like brothers and sisters. Don't call anyone on earth your father. All of you have the same father in heaven. None of you should be called the leader. The Messiah is your only leader. Whoever is the greatest should be the servant of the others. If you put yourself above others, you will be put down. But if you humble yourself, you will be honored. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, boys and girls, we have two very important things happening today. The first is what we hear in the Gospel. Who's ever played the game, follow the leader? Do you know how to play that game? I'll bet some of you have played. One person gets to be the leader first, and all the other players do exactly what they do. After, if you don't follow the leader, you're out. So if the leader says, put your hand on your nose, you put your hand on your nose. If the leader says, put your hand on your ear, you put your hand on your ear. If the leader says, put your hand on your head, and you put it back on your nose, what would happen? That's right, you would be out. So Jesus was talking to his disciples and to the crowd. And he was saying that there was something wrong with the leaders of the church at his time. He said that they were telling people what was God's law? But did the leaders follow their own words according to Jesus? No, they didn't. Instead, they would make all sorts of rules for the people to follow. But then when it came to themselves, if it was difficult, they just didn't follow. And the other problem Jesus had with the leaders was they liked to brag. They liked to pretend that they were very important. They would wear special clothes and they would sometimes wear a special box right here on their forehead and wrap it with strings around their head. And inside the box would be the scriptures of God. Well, that would be a good thing. But Jesus said often they were wearing it just so people would notice. If they went to the town square, they wanted everyone to realize that they were the leaders of the church and that they were very important. I have heard that sometimes maybe they would even push people aside so they could get to the front of the line. Why? because they were the leaders. Do you think that that's the way Jesus wants his people to act? No. Jesus, in fact, tells his followers just the opposite, that if we want to be a follower of Jesus, we must not just say the right words, but act the right way. We should not tell people what to do unless we're following our own directions. We must always put our words into practice. Let's imagine what they think of this. 
You tell a friend that they can share your toys. But when they come to visit your house, you won't let them touch any of the good stuff. How do you think that would make them feel? I think you're right. They wouldn't want to come back to your house because they might even say you're being bossy. How about this one? You tell your sister or brother to share the treat that they get. But if you get a treat, you hide it and eat it all for yourself. Do you think they'd ever share with you again? No, I don't think so. They would call you selfish. Let's pretend that a friend wins the blue ribbon at the science fair and they're all excited. You were in the science fair too, but you didn't win a ribbon. So you tell your friend, it's no big deal just because you run a silly, won a silly old ribbon. How do you think that makes the person feel? Do you think they feel sad that you didn't care about them? I think so too. And what would happen if you got every angry if other people don't say how pretty your clothes are, especially if you get something new? But if you notice that your friend gets something new, well, you never say that back. You don't say, oh, I like your clothes. But they, you expect them to do it. How do you think your friends would feel? Yeah, you're right. They might feel like you don't care about them, that all you care about is you. Jesus tells us, his followers, that we must not try to put ourselves first or brag about ourselves. Instead, we should realize that God is first and that we are trying to do what God wants us to do. The other important thing about today is the feast. Now, today is November 1st, and the feast, or what we remember in the church, is called All Saints Day. I'll bet you remember what yesterday was. Right, it was Halloween. Well, Halloween comes from the words All Hallows Eve, the night before a special feast about something holy. And the something that's holy are the saints. Do you know what a saint is? Okay, a saint is someone who loved God so much while he was here on earth or she was here on earth that God wants them to become role models, a leader for us, just like in the game Follow the Leader. Some of the saints were from long time ago. Other saints were only alive just a few years ago. But now the church says they followed Jesus during their life, and so they're in heaven, and they can act as models for how we can live in order to go to heaven. Do you have a saint name in your names? Your name might be Saint Joseph or Patrick. Maybe you're Valentine or Albert. Maybe you're a girl and you're Saint Gail or Catherine or Sophia or Cecilia. Why don't you talk to your mom or dad today about what Saint you are named after? If your parents say they don't have a special saint in your name, that doesn't mean you can't find one for yourself. Maybe they will take you on the internet and look up a saint for you. Or maybe you can find the book of saints. 
and see if you can find a saint that you would like to have as your very own. Some saints even are patrons of things we do, like the patron saint of sports or athletes is Saint Sebastian. Or perhaps you like to dance and there's a saint called Saint Vitus, who's the patron saint of dancers. There's a patron saint of artists and jugglers. There's all sorts of saints for all sorts of fun reasons. And so I invite you to look up these wonderful role models who are already in heaven. They can help us to know how to love God more completely. They're the kind of leaders that Jesus wants us to follow when we play follow the leader. And of course, we can always read God's word, the gospel, and follow Jesus too. So let's finish today then with our intercessions. Today we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. For kids who brag or show off because they don't think that other children will like them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who are in need of justice because they are being bullied or hurt, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, that they receive the help that they need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls in purgatory, those who have died but have not yet reached heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parents and the leaders of our church and our government, so that we can learn from them and become good leaders ourselves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for coming again today and joining us for Children's Liturgy of the Word. We look forward to seeing you again next week. And maybe by that time, we'll have be able to know that we can pray for the President of the United States who will be elected this Tuesday. Have a great week. Bye now.